Question 1. The graph of a quadratic function r is shown on the grid. Which answer choice best represents the intercepts of the graph of r? So what is important here, que es importante aquí? Intercepts, intercepts. So remember, there are two types of intercepts. Hay dos tipos de intercepts. There is x-intercept. And that is where the line or the parabola touches the x-axis. Okay, touches x. Toca x. And then there's the y-intercept. And that is where it touches the y, donde se toca el y. Okay, so x-intercept, where does this touch the x? Donde se toca el x? Two places, dos lugares. Here, aquí, negative 10, and here at 2. So this is x-intercept, and also here x-intercept. Okay, so what is the ordered pair for that? x, y. X is negative 10, Y zero. Here for this one, X is two, Y is zero. Now for the Y intercept, where does this touch Y? Donde se toca Y? It's right over here. Okay, so what number is between negative four and negative six? ¿Cuál número está entre negativo cuatro y negativo seis? Negative 5, that is negative 5 right over here, right? Because this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Negativo 1, negativo 2, negativo 3, negativo 4, negativo 5, negativo 6. So this, x, y, this negative 5 is y. Este negativo 5 es y, y. So negative 5 is y, x is 0. So which one is my answer? I need these, necesito estos. So, x-intercept, I have two. Tengo dos x-intercepts, negative 10 and 2. And then the y-intercept, 0, negative 5. This is the y-intercept. Let me write that down. Okay, so let me just tell you, you need to be careful with your negatives. Necesitan cuidar con los negativos because they have them as an option porque tienen como opción. Okay, and then you also need to be careful with the places of the zeros. Y también necesitan cuidar con los lugares del cero. So take a look here. Do you see here they're trying to trick you? Aquí uh, intenta uh, engañarles. Okay, so you need to be careful. Necesitan cuidar. So remember x-intercept, x-intercept. It's where it touches the x, donde se toca el x. Also, the y is always zero for the x-intercept. También el, la y siempre es cero por el x-intercept. Y-intercept is where it touches the y. El y-intercept is donde se toca la y. And for the y-intercept, the x is always zero. Y por el y-intercept, el x siempre es cero. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.